Hola, hola, hola. Hello, 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 my beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. Here with the last unboxing of the three mystery bundles from the Happy Planner. Yes, I got all three mystery bundles during the Cyber Monday sale with the Happy Planner. I'm a bit of a sucker for a mystery bundle. I think it's so fun to open it up and it just exposes you to a bunch of goodies that maybe you wouldn't have picked up, you know, by yourself. So it's nice to just get like a random burst of Happy Planner stuff. And a lot of it is stuff I don't have. I don't usually have. I tend to not have the stuff in the mystery bundles, which is saying something because I do have a lot of Happy Planner stuff. Anyway, I just uploaded the unboxing of the Gold Getter Mystery Bundle and then the Planner Essentials Mystery Bundle. And then this is the last one, the Floral Sunshine Mystery Bundle. I'm very, very excited to open it up because it looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. I was the most excited for the Gold Getter Mystery Bundle and it did not disappoint. It was a great value and really good stuff. And then the Planner Essentials was the one that I was the second most excited for. But that one, although it had good stuff in it, it was slightly uh, underwhelming. I, I wish they had included more stuff and added more value to the bag. Um, and so this was the one that I was the least excited for. I was still excited for it, but it was the lowest on the you know priorities of the three mystery bundles. It had the lowest drinking and that's simply because I'm not a massive floral person. I do really like florals but um, I tend to not gravitate towards them as much as other things. But I still wanted to get it because I knew I would enjoy it and I just love the mystery bundles. So without further ado, let's get into unboxing this mystery bundle. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here, so I'm very excited. Let's start off with this. This looks super cute. Oh my goodness. This is a pack of note cards, and this is from Brandy Brown. Uh, so it's Marabou Design. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is perfect because I'm always looking for stationery. I do like to write letters, um, and so this is perfect. Oh, this is inspiring because I know I have some pen pals I need to write back to. So they might see some of these note cards in the mail um, for my next letter that I mail out to my pen pals. And then they have stickers to seal the envelopes. And the envelopes are so pretty. They're these bright yellow envelopes. Um, and we have two designs here. This blue floral design and then this gorgeous peach with lemons on it and it says life is sweet that is adorable and both of the cards are blank this is amazing i'm very happy about this like i said this is not something i would pick up myself and so i'm really happy that they included it see i'm already off to a great start i'm very excited about this Okay, and then we have two sets of discs. Ooh, I'm really excited about these yellow discs. This is a set of discs I've been eyeing for a while and I just never, you know, bit the bullet. I never got them. They're bright yellow. Oh, so perfect for uh, so many different planner covers. I love bright yellow discs. I just love the color. Bright yellow is just so happy, so full of sunshine vibes. I'm going to sprinkle them around here. How amazing. I'm very happy with this. Okay, and then we have these pink discs with the little floral pattern in the center. This is very cute. Um, I do like these discs. You can never go wrong with a nice pink plastic disc with a nice little cutout. So... I'm very happy with those. And then we have two sticker books, the Press Floral sticker book and then the accessory book. And I actually have finished an entire Press Floral sticker book. And so I bought another one and I've started using that one as well. And so this is going to be the third Press Floral sticker book that um, I have had. And I am not at all put out by that because this is one of my favorite sticker books, I think, that the Happy Planner has ever come out with. I remember when this sticker book came out, I was obsessed. I would not rest until I had it in my hands. And then also the entire Pressed Florals line, like the planners, um, I remember going to my Michaels like every week waiting for the Pressed Florals 
um, classic planner to come out to, to hit the store shelves because I knew that I wanted that planner and that I was going to have that planner no matter what. And I did not want it to sell out. And so I bought it at full price at Michael's, which is something I will never do again <laughs> because now I know that I can definitely wait until a coupon comes out or they're on sale for at least 20% off. But I could not even wait for a 20% off sale or a 20% off coupon. I needed to have the Press Florals Classic Horizontal Planner in my life. And to this day, that planner is still one of my favorite planners ever. Like the design of it is gorgeous. I have the Classic Planner and the Big Vertical Planner as well. The Big Press Florals Vertical Planner was actually the first planner, the first big planner that I really started working in. So the Press Floral line definitely has a special place in my heart. I'm definitely going to get some use out of this one as soon as I finish my second Press Floral sticker book. Same with the Press Florals accessory book. I have had this before and I've used it up completely, except the sticky notes. I still have the sticky notes. Those tend to, um, I tend to not use those as quickly, but I definitely used up East, all the stickers in the pressed florals accessory pack. This one's a lot easier to use up because it's so functional. There's a lot of boxes, a lot of decorative stickers, and so it didn't really take me that long to finish this. And so I'm happy to get it again because I definitely feel like I can um, finish that one up. And then we have a pen case here. It says, don't wait for sunshine, be the sunshine. That's fun. I'm glad that they're including pen cases because they're just like another fun element to add to your planner. This one even has like a little snap-in section. I might try this out. I really like that it has the snap-in section. I might fill this with stickers like die cuts and put this in my planner. We'll see. Okay, next we have... Um, planner Companion Accessory Pack. This is the Press Florals Planner Companion Accessory Pack. And I remember I was so bummed out that I wasn't able to get this um, when it first came out. I don't know why, it just never really became available in stores. I never saw it on the shelf. And this was back when I just didn't like to order from the Happy Planner website. So if it was not on the shelf, I was not gonna get it. And then eventually I found it one day at my local Joann's and it was on clearance. And so I picked up two of these. So I actually have two of these um, accessory packs. And I am perfectly okay with having a third one because I can always use these stickers up. I'm gonna stick them right now into my like sticker pack that I have here in the front. Filler paper. I love this filler paper so much. I love both of these designs so, so much. So I'm very excited about having this filler paper. Three envelopes. I love the pressed floral designs. These are some of my favorite designs ever, like the yellow background with the daisies on it. One of my all-time favorite Happy Planner designs. Same with this design here, the pressed florals. Um, on the pink background. This is um, this is similar to what the classic Happy Planner has on the cover, except it's purple and it's just breathtaking. And this is also one of my all-time favorite Happy Planner designs, the dried florals on the green background, and it says bloom with grace. Just breathtaking, gorgeous. And then we have some vision boards and then a whiteboard. And this is one of my all-time favorite whiteboards from the Happy Planner because it has the schedule section and then like a grid section and some to-dos. Love this. And on the back, it's just grid or dot grid. Very cute. It says, be your own sunshine. I have been actually getting into my whiteboards quite a bit recently. I found like the perfect use for them. <laughs> and the perfect use for them, for me, is whenever I submit um, computer scripts to run on the supercomputer cluster that I work on. Most of what I do is bioinformatics. Uh, I am a bioinformatics programmer, so I do a lot of computational work. I submit a lot of computer scripts to the computer clusters that I work on. And sometimes I'm submitting, you know, multiple jobs at a time for various different projects. And sometimes I forget what's running on the cluster. And so I like 
writing down the jobs that I'm submitting and then kind of like a note on their status, like running. And I really like it being a whiteboard because the jobs change so rapidly. The status changes so rapidly. It doesn't really make sense to me to like put it on paper and then cross stuff out. I like being able to just wipe it off and then rewrite. So that is what I'm using the whiteboard for. So really happy to have that again. Okay, I'm seeing a planner here, but before we get into that, let's get into this paper pack here. This is a pack of half sheet paper. I don't have this, so I'm excited about this. And this is 60 sheets of half sheet paper. This is really bright and colorful. It's giving me old school happy planner, a bright rainbow um, spine. And then it just says today, and then you can write the date. And then it gives you one, two, three. So goals, priorities, whatever you want. And then the bottom section, it just says tomorrow. And then we have a grid. And on the back, we have just plain dot grid. These are beautiful. I really, really like these. Oh, and then I think half of them are different. Yes, half of them um, are that that format I just showed you and then the second half it just says happy notes and then we just have lines and on the back we we still have that same um, grid paper so this is super super fun I do like these half sheets quite a bit I love being able to stick like little sheets of paper into my planner um, so this is amazing I'm happy with that and then we have a planner and this is the classic vertical layout planner this is an undated planner so that's amazing let's peel this off okay so i have taken off all the packaging here and this is a really beautiful planner i do remember liking this when i first saw this again this is a relatively recent happy planner release it is not old school happy planner but it just has this beautiful color block um, cover it says be your own kind of happy and we have just like the labels for all the tabs and then the cover page. I do like this. I like the plus signs and the circles. Um, I think it's very cute. And then we just have a blank currently page. And then we have all of the um, monthlies. And this honestly gives me like old school Happy Planner vibes. There was a planner that was very similar to this um, that was released in 2019. It was one of the first Happy Planner planners that I ever got. I think it might have been like in definitely in the first 10 planners that I ever picked up from the Happy Planner. And it was a vertical style planner as well. And it had a lot of this like old, bright color block um, concepts for the dividers. So this is just a simple vertical layout. And yeah, some of these dividers are really, really pretty. I like this one a lot. This one's cute. Um, this one's a little too simple for me. I like this one. I don't like this one as much. This one's cute. This one's cute. And then this one's super cute as well. And it's undated, so that's perfect because I can use this whenever I want to. This planner surprises me a little bit. Like... I'm kind of wondering if this planner actually belonged in the planner essentials bundle and they accidentally put it into this floral bundle because this planner definitely feels like it's more of a planner essentials item than a floral item. Like if they were going to include a planner in the floral mystery bundle, they would likely have included a floral planner and I'm sure that they have tons of floral planner options that they could have put into this bundle so that's amazing if it if this is part of the floral bundle that's amazing because there's already so much stuff here and the fact that they included a full planner is amazing and this is a 12 month planner but i have a suspicion that this maybe is part of the planner essentials bundle and so I have to double check this. If this is part of the planner essentials bundle and it was just mistakenly put into the floral bundle for me, then that definitely um, increases my respect for the planner essentials bundle because I did feel like it needed a planner. However, even with if this planner had been included in the planner essentials bundle and I opened it up with that bundle, I still feel like they could have added a couple of more things into that bundle. 
but we shall see. I'm very intrigued about whether this planner belongs in this bundle or that bundle. I'm going to have to go check the Happy Planner website and then see if anyone has up uploaded like an unboxing of, of this um of the uh, Planner Essentials mystery bundle or the floral bundle to see if this came with either or. So this is a mystery. Cue the X-Files music. And then we have a storage box, sticker storage box from the Happy Planner. And this is definitely included in the floral bundle because it is a floral box. So I'm really excited about this because um, I can always use more sticker storage. I actually have two of these sticker storage boxes. One that looks exactly like this, but it's in a different design. It's that same like three sectioned box. I have one that's this size, and then I have a larger one that can fit planners as well. And they, they're actually right here. They're right in front of me, and I do really like them. So I believe this little strip comes off. Both of these strips come off. And then you just put it together like so. And there we have it. That is the little box. And it also comes with these. These are actually labels for the top of the sticker books. And I actually don't use these at all. So I might just toss those. So I'm going to let that set overnight. I'm not going to put anything in there um, until tomorrow morning. So that way, like the glue can kind of set into the cardboard and it won't you know come apart these are nice boxes they fit the books really nicely i think they're super cute i really like this design i like it a lot better than the one that i currently have which i think is from the homebody line i do really like them the only thing i would say about these sticker storage boxes is that if you overstuff them which i tend to do then you like put pressure on the adhesive here like i like to stuff my boxes full of books and sometimes they'll bulge out on the sides then this will sometimes pop off it doesn't do it very often and you just have to be careful of not like putting too much pressure on these boxes um and if you are aware of that then the they do keep together nicely okay so that is the entire floral mystery bundle i'm very happy with it i think it was a great deal oh and also we have the little um bracelet as well. This is very cute. Just a cute little bracelet here. So that is the entire mystery bundle. Um, I did really like this one. We had two sets of discs, an accessory pack, these half sheet filler pages, um, a pen pouch, uh, two sticker books, and the little bundle, and the note cards. Um, I'm super excited about these note cards. I think this is the most like pleasantly surprised item of the entire box. Okay, everyone, let me know what you think about this bundle in the comments down below. I would love to know your thoughts. Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it was not? Let me know what was the most exciting thing in the box. I would love to know um, what you think. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow. Adios.